Hey guys, Jason Evangelo, aka The Game Technician here, uh, and you guys requested a, a little video tour of my office, and so that's exactly what I'm going to give you. This is where the shenanigans, uh, the giveaways, the work, and the play happens. Let's start over here. This is my X99 test bench. It's powered by... An Intel Core i7-5960X. We've got 16 gigs of G-Skill DDR4 memory clocked at 2400 megahertz. Got a nice NZXT Kraken CPU cooler there. And it's all on top of an Asus X99 Deluxe motherboard. It is my pride and joy. Um, even if I don't get to do a lot of playing on it, it's still it's still a wonderful thing to, to be able to use every day. Uh, right here I've got my kilowatt mounted on the wall. Uh, that lets me measure things like peak and uh, average wattage for things like video cards, which is very, very useful. And it also doubles as a pretty awesome uh, surge protector. So, coming over here, attached to all that is... Uh, the I forget the model number, but it is the original Asus 4K panel. It's the tiled one, which actually had uh, you know two tiled displays in there to combine uh, to create 4K. And it's it's a little problematic for gaming, so I use it mostly for benchmarks, um, which it's great for. It's uh, I mean it's a it's a beautiful you know beautiful IPS display. It's it's fantastic, but just not ideal for for 4K gaming, at least not in the not in the current landscape. Uh, my keyboard of choice over here is the Rocket Rios, and I'm uh, I'm just testing out a uh, Corsair gaming mouse that they sent over for me to evaluate. Right here, two of my favorites, Soundwave and a couple of his minions. Um, I think one's Laserbeak. I gotta be honest, I, it's been so long I'm not sure. <laughs> but a uh, long time ago, all of my G1 Transformers got lost. And um, a couple Christmases ago, my wife bought me that. And good old Skyfire slash Jetfire right here off of eBay. And they were in great condition. I was just thrilled. Um, and of course, here you see the Asus ROG Swift, which my... Come on, camera. Come on! My Asus ROG Swift panel G-Sync uh, that is for gaming very much for gaming although man I'm sorry about my camera guys like I said this is this is one of the first actually I didn't say it yet this is one of the first videos I've done I don't know what I'm doing I'm just it's you know by request so I want to meet your requests as often as I can um, now moving over here oh let's go back to the crowbar show you this real quick NVIDIA sent these out when they were doing their um, their Half-Life on S.H.I.E.L.D. campaign. Pretty damn cool. And up here is another little pride and joy. It is the uh, Portal 2 poster signed by the development team. I got that when I was running VideoGameWriters.com with Brian Shea. Um, rest in peace, VGW. He has since moved on to Game Informer, and I would I would definitely encourage you to follow his work there. That guy is just a a, a well of feature ideas. He he comes up with some really entertaining stuff to read. Uh, from the oatmeal, it's why working from home is both awesome and terrible, or awesome and horrible, and I can pretty much vouch for all of these things. <laughs> um, all right, moving over here, we've got kind of the kind of the uh, laptop slash tablet testing area. I might do some unboxing over here as well. Um, right now that I've got in the uh, the ThinkPad T450S, and I'm really looking forward to that. One of my first laptops ever was a ThinkPad. Um, and then we move over to kind of my personal area. See, I've got my, my Google Analytics up there for thegametechnician.com and Got my Game Technician uh, Facebook page open. That's where I interact with most of you guys. You're pretty awesome, so thanks for being awesome. You guys make this job a lot of fun. All right, so um, keyboard of choice. This is my personal keyboard of choice. 
It is the Corsair Gaming K65. I love it because it's it's slimmed down, it's thin, um, it allows me to have some room for the mouse, nice big mouse pad. Uh, that's the Rocket Tie-On with the um, kind of that thumb that thumb paddle and the uh, the middle mouse button fin. Really awesome for you know for things like um, like Battlefield 4, driving tanks, flying choppers, things like that. And then of course the first half of the uh, Cytec X55 Rhino hot ass. There's the throttle control. Again, my personal uh, my my newly the, the fairly fairly new development since I reviewed them. Uh, the Kingston Hyper X Cloud Twos. They are just an amazing headset for under ninety nine bucks. Um, what else? This this monitor actually I'm testing right now. Um, it is the new Acer Nvidia G Sync XB two eighty HK. I don't know if you can see that. This camera, man, probably not ideal, huh? Anyway, it's the uh, fairly new 4K G-Sync monitor, so I'm kind of geeking out about that. And this, this is my uh, my personal gaming rig. It's uh, it's built inside of a Cooler Master Elite 130. I, I want to say it's a 130, but it could be a 140. And please correct me if I'm wrong. And this is a this is an awesome case. I've been using this case for a long time. It's it's like forty dollars, um, and you can do an incredible amount of things with this. You can pack a lot into this case. Uh, for example, it's got uh, it's got an SSD. It's got a standard hard drive. I've got um, an Intel Core i7 4770K inside of there, and right now there's even a Titan X inside of there. Just because I had to see how well it integrated into a small form factor case and the answer is very very well um i don't need a titan x in there but again it was just you know it's one of those little experiments where i had to i had to see if it could be done and it definitely can um there's also space for an optical drive there if you wanted to you just pop out that grill um but anyway yeah i love this little guy um tons of usb ports it just does everything i need it to do and then some and uh, we've got a Ryu here on top from the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary Collection box. That is my Blue Yeti microphone, which I'll be podcasting with when I figure out what and when. I know the how, I just don't have the what and when yet. Um, and again, sorry for, sorry for it being so blurry. I, I'm getting used to this camera. Um, okay, so here, Ion Redline Drum Kit. I got these when they were on sale for like a hundred bucks. I do, I do some occasional drumming and, and guitar playing on the side. Um, have some music that I might release if I'm, if I'm feeling brave enough on the, on the site on GameTechnician.com. Um, yeah. This table, it's kind of a work in progress. I, I don't quite know what to do here. Right now I'm going to use it for builds, um, maybe for some unboxing. Nothing special, really, except for this uh, NZXT Phantom that I had, excuse me, I had built my, uh, what I called Big Red, my um, AMD-powered gaming rig. Has a 295X2 inside, uh, liquid-cooled FX9590 um, with a Corsair H100i liquid cooler. It's just a nice, it's a nice, beautiful case. Amazing airflow. You can do a lot with it. All right, I'm going to flip this over so you can get kind of a good view. Uh, no, let's not do that. So this half of my closet, this is for a couple stray transformers. And um, it's also for builds in progress. So you guys know that I've been kind of hyping that $700 build. Well, it's built. It's here. I just need to write it up. Uh, it's already benchmarked even. The content's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to write it up at Forbes, and then I'm going to give it away to you guys. Um, what else? This was my old uh, old test bench. I'm kind of salvaging it for parts right now. And these are my um, current parts for the 2015 4K build. Now that's going to be um, an under $2,000 4K system featuring obviously the 295X2, 
um, the Gigabyte 990 FXA UD3 board. And um, I think we're going to have an 8320, FX8320 in there. And it's going to include Windows and an SSD and a 4K monitor. So it's a, it's a pretty good value. I'm just working on uh, sourcing the rest of the components. Down here, some, some cards I need to review still. We've got the P&Y 960. Uh, that's their overclocked version. And then we've got a really beautiful card from P&Y. That's their... Um, their custom cooler um, 980, and way, way more quiet and cool than uh, than the reference 980. Impressions of both of those coming up. Right here is actually a system inside of there. It's not just the Elite 110. It is the system uh, that I wrote up. God, it was a long time ago. I just haven't had the right opportunity or avenue to do a giveaway. Um, but yeah, it's built. It's got a 750Ti in there, a Core i5, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, an SSD, a HDD. It's, it's a really nice, small form factor little cube. Just a, a great system. So looking forward to giving you guys that. Well, giving one of you that. All right, moving over to the other side here. Get out your Kleenex. Now, I don't hoard video cards. <laughs> I promise. Um, a lot of these are to be given away, but some of them are, um, some of them I need to keep for, especially the reference cards, um, for, you know, ongoing benchmarks when drivers get updated and there's performance uplift or, uh, you know, a new generation card comes out, you want to compare like the, you know, the, the 970 to the 770 and, um, it's, benchmarks can change so dramatically over the months and years as as NVIDIA and AMD release driver updates that it's it's really uh, a good idea to hold on to these. Down here, uh, I've got a Corsair AX1200i PSU. Got, that's a 9590 um, the Cooler Master Sidon C, uh, CPU cooler built in, liquid cooling. Got some Next, or I call them Next, NZXT sentries back there. Some other boards that I need to uh, do some things with. And a couple more Kraken CPU coolers back there. And uh, in case you missed it, that's my awesome dog Ares. He's a dachshund. Phoenix is not in the room, but uh, we'll get some shots of him next time. Anyway, guys. That is where the game technician does his stuff. So, uh, oh, I like these two. My wife got me these. <laughs> and then of course we have our dachshund records up there. I have a thing for dachshunds. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. See ya.